In the Designer, we can access the Pages panel from the top left. From this panel, we have access to all the pages in the project. We can access, organize, sort, control settings, and we'll cover four different operations in the Pages panel. And by four, we mean five. Creating a new page, managing page settings, saving a page and its settings, this includes saving as a draft, duplicating and deleting pages, and organizing pages. Let's start with creating a new page. From the Pages panel, press Create New Page. That's creating a new page. Let's do Page Settings, since that's what we see the moment we create a new page. Lots of options here. We can fill out the name of our page, which will automatically generate a slug. We can see that link preview right underneath. Or we can type our own slug. If we have folders set up, we can select the folder this page is going into. We have the option to enable password protection on a per page basis. And of course, we can open and configure any of these sections, like SEO settings and Open Graph or OG settings. SEO for search engines, how we want this information to show up on search engines. And optionally, Open Graph. This is for Facebook, Twitter, and other platforms which reference OG information. Then we have site search settings. This is the info for this page that shows up in search results. We can exclude the page from search results entirely, or override the search title, snippet, or search image using the relevant fields. Finally, we can insert custom code on this page inside the head tag or before the closing body tag. Of course, we have additional content covering a ton of this on Webflow University, but that's page settings. Let's talk saving and drafting our page settings. Once you finish setting up your page, you can choose to save those changes by pressing the button on the top right, or you can save the page as a draft. Saving a page as a draft means this page won't get published. So if it's something that's not ready for prime time, or your design is overrun with Laura Ipsum, or you're not sure people are ready for your unique sense of humor, you can draft as many pages as you want. Let's move on and talk duplicating and deleting. And to do that, we're going to the page we want as a starting point. And we'll go right back to page settings. On the top, let's press duplicate. All the information in page settings was carried over, but just as importantly, when we press create, the actual content, everything on the page itself, is carried over too. Everything was duplicated. But what if we want to delete? We can permanently delete a page using this button right here. That's duplicating and deleting. Finally, let's talk organization. Benjamin Franklin was quoted as saying, for every minute spent organizing, an hour is earned. He also said, he that speaks much is much mistaken. Did he incorrectly use the pronoun that instead of who? And was this his way of hinting that we should move on to organization? Let's move on to organization. We can sort pages by grabbing the page to the left and dragging it into position. We can also create folders. At any time, press create new folder. By default, this will appear at the bottom, but we can drag pages into this folder. In fact, you might get a warning indicating that if your site is published, changing the URL could break links out on the web. This can be solved by setting a 301 redirect in your project settings. But if we haven't published our site, or we're just getting started, this is something we can ignore. So, the Pages panel. We can create a new page, manage our page settings, we can save page settings, we can draft pages, we can duplicate pages and delete pages, and we can organize or even move them into folders. And that's the Pages panel. And this is where Stacy fades out the audio, so the end of this video is professional. And put together using a style that evokes...